Hi to everyone. My name is Fernanda de la Fuente. In this moment, I am going to talk about my topic, which is in the unit three, the language testing. It is about the language assessment principles that an assessment instrument applies. So first of all, it's important to tell you what is a language assessment. When in a classroom, you need to assess you present to your students uh, that they require them to use a language. The purpose of this is to collect information about the, the student and how much they have learned. Also, the language assessment is necessary because we know to the areas and the language abilities that the students has have and it is necessary include the objectives and the instruction learning of the on the instruction the task is based on the teaching learning through tasks used in class so like i said in the first part i am going to talk about the principles of language assessment there are five principles so there are Reliability, practicality, validity, authenticity, and washback. So I am going to give you some uh, definitions of each one and some examples. The reliability, uh, we know that this is a test uh, consistent and dependable. Also, uh, this test has to be clear directions to evaluate our students. Also, the test has the uniform rubrics, uh, but we have to consider some things uh, first to do the reliability test. Uh, for example, we have to see the many factors that can be to evit the BAs. For example, if the students are hungry, are tired, are discouraged, also if they are illness, because the score can affect, uh, they can know the, the topic, but they are illness, so it affects the score. And we have to know what is the condition and the situation where we are going to take the test. For example, uh, the, where is the class? If, if they have a space to do the test and, and those things. The other principle is the practicality. So what is the, the definition? It refers that the logistic score uh, any kind of assessment. It can see cost, time, easy to score, and we can interpret the report, the results, and give the results. Uh, in the examples, I can tell you that the, the details of the test must be clear. Also, if the students can complete the test. I mean, if the students have the knowledge or uh, the previous knowledge until the test, and what is the time that they have to do this test? For example, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and according with that, we prepare the test. That is the practicality. The validity, we have to to know that the conjecture about the results is proposed the measure exactly and it supported the theoretical arguments. So that uh, uh, like an example, we can hear the, do them uh, reading a test with the previous knowledge and they can, if they know the, the vocabulary, for example, and construct consequential validity. 
So the test must have to, to validate the, the knowledge, the previous knowledge of them. Uh, what is the authenticity? Uh, the tests use natural language. The topics are relevant, meaningful, and interesting. Also, the test provides organization in the items. For example, uh, we can use multiple skills, like in a play school when they are working together. We can do a project with them based in learning, obviously, and promote integration with that because it's very necessary that the students can work together and, and, and we can know what they learn. Uh, also the washback, we can know the principle is washback when the test is the effect that causes on teaching and learning. Washback test shows teacher how teacher teach and how uh, learners learn. The watch uh, the watchback offers the feedback and see the development in learners. So the example that I can show you is, for example, the high stakes exams. What is that? Is uh, the certification of proficiency in English like A1, A2, B1, B2. That is a, an example of watchback. For example, the summative test because we can know how they are learning, how they know. And one negative washback is when the test is, has all, one skill to promote, because there are four skills that we, that we can promote. And if we just concern in, in one skill, it can be uh, critical for, for learners. Uh, thank you very much. That is my bibliography. Thank you for thank you for everything. Bye.